day, everyone. Um, um, we are the presenters and students from Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas. And this is our research entitled Factor Analysis on Online Food Delivery in the New Normal. I'm Alexis Bagot. And I am Jen Isabel Bagui. All right. So it's been more than a year since our country declared lockdown. And ever since, it has been very difficult for all of us to gather or meet each other in malls, travels, and even simply eat in a restaurant. And a lot of industries are striving and finding their own ways to innovate their businesses and to survive in this time of global crisis. So the food industry specifically, they took the opportunity of the emergence of online food delivery, which opened big opportunities and gave second chances to different food businesses. With this reason, there are a lot of factors that need to be considered to assure that online food delivery firms will continue their production for a long run. First is to know what motivates a customer to buy a certain product. Second is the customer expectation. Third is to know what satisfies them. And lastly, what will make them loyal to your business. This study will be a great tool for online food businesses to improve their way of catering their customers and even generate new ones. Eventually, this will assure the success of the company, guarantee employment, and increase their income. It will be a great way to rise from the fall of the food industry and highlight its potential and strength even in times of crisis. For the objectives of the study, this study aimed to measure the factor analysis on online food delivery in the new normal. More specifically, the study aims to describe the psychographic profile of respondents and assess the factor analysis in terms of customers' motivation factor, expectation factor, and their loyalty and satisfaction. Furthermore, this study will test the significant difference on the response when grouped according to profile and to test the relationship between customers' motivation and expectation factors toward online food delivery, as well as their loyalty and satisfaction. Based on the result, the research will propose an action plan for improvement. All right, for our methods, for the research design, the researchers utilize the descriptive method. For the respondents of the study, um, they were customers who experienced ordering food online, and based on the population of the study, a, two, a sample size of 215 respondents was used. And as a data gathering instrument, the questionnaires used by the researchers were adopted from a study made by Padyadhanya and Panvisavas 2019 entitled Factors Influencing Customer Loyalty Toward Mobile Application for Delivery Service in Bangkok Area. For the data gathering procedures, the researchers uh, visually administered the research instrument with the use of social media platforms, and the data collected were tallied by the researchers and tested with the help of a statistician. So now let's proceed to the results and discussion. Table 1 presents the psychographic profile of the respondents. As you could see, majority of the respondents belong to a group of more than five family members and orders one to three times a month. And the money that they spend on food delivery per week is less than 500 pesos. And in the type of restaurant, they prefer ordering in a quick service. And lastly, for the reason of ordering food online, majority of respondents crave for a specific food. For Table 2.1, which present the factor analysis in terms of customers' motivation, majority of the respondents motivate to order online Food online because there are many variety choices of food when selecting which online food delivery to use. This is because many people always look for the online food delivery that has a lot to offer because it is very convenient to consumer to order foods from one restaurant. On the other hand, lowest in the rank is they prefer to use online food delivery sites or pages if it is available 24 hours a day. Since many customers are now looking for food delivery sites that is accessible in their most convenient time. For Table 2.2 presents the factor analysis in terms of customer expectation. 
Among the cited items, highest in rank as sites or pages that is user friendly, offers high quality service and ensures security. This is because online food delivery sites that has well managed quality service, security and convenience is one of the key factors that satisfy customers. Meanwhile, lowest in rank is the only for delivery that offers an attractive promotion to attract more users. Since certain customers tend to be distracted with the promotions that other businesses have in terms of their online platforms, thus the quality of the products, which is the most important part, is not being delivered and showcased properly to the market. So for, for um, table 2.3 presents the factor analysis in terms of customer satisfaction. Highest in rank among the items cited is being satisfied with their current online food deliverer. Since the food, deli since the food quality is given importance during the delivery process, this is because they have considerations on its quality regarding sanitation, safety, taste, and packaging, especially in this time of pandemic. However, a factor that needs improvement is the timeliness of online food delivery, since most of the customers who order food online considers timeliness of deliveries as a factor since they greatly value their time and meals. Table 2.4 shows the factor analysis in terms of customer loyalty. Highest in ranking as I will continue to buy from my current online food deliverer. This is because of the great quality and consistency of the service that made the experience remarkable, which resulted to repeated buying of customers. On the other hand, lowest in ranking is I will continue to talk good things about my current online food deliverer. Since customer feedback is important, online food delivery firms must take note on handling customer complaints properly as this will result whether they will receive a negative or positive feedback. Table 2.5 presents the summary table on factor analysis. Highest in ranking is expectation. It is a very important factor since it is the comparison of what customers expect and the actual service. If the provider meets those expectations, it will create a good image to the company and allow future purchase. Meanwhile, lowest in rank is customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is one of the most important aspects when it comes to the food business. With this, maintaining service quality is a way to satisfy them. Table 4 showed the difference of responses on factor analysis when grouped according to psychographic profile. It was observed that there was a significant difference on customer motivation, expectation, and customer loyalty when grouped according to family members. And it was found out that those who have family members of four have greater assessment on the above variables. They have the greater motivation in ordering food online since they are seeking for convenience and an excellent quality of food without exerting a lot of effort. They are the ones who have a big expectation since they ha are looking forward that this online food delivery firms will meet their needs and wants. And they also show greater loyalty in purchasing foods, uh, purchasing food online since these people have been influenced by the consistency of excellent quality performance of the service provider. In terms of amount spent for food delivery per week, there was a significant difference found on customer motivation. This was observed on those who spend 501 to 1,000 pesos per week. And these types of customers have more motivation to spend this amount of money for only food delivery per week because their salary gave them the purchasing power to do so. Table 5 shows the relationship between customers' motivation, expectation, customer satisfaction, and customer loyalty. This means that the more motivated, the positive the expectation, the satisfied, and the loyal are the customers. As to the relationship of expectation and satisfaction, expectation and loyalty shows a moderate direct association and indicates a significant relationship. The result implies that the better the expectation, the more that the customers are satisfied and loyal. In addition, there was a significant relationship between customer satisfaction and loyalty. This indicates that the more the, the customers are satisfied, the higher the chance that they will become loyal. For our proposed action plan, we have highlighted the four key result areas. First, to sustain the motivation of the customers in repurchasing regularly, an organization must release new products every year and provide an enhanced menu. Second, 
to meet or exceed customer expectations, a company must provide a suggestion box feature where customers may honestly and easily relay their concerns and help the company to obtain first-hand feedback on how to improve services. And third, to elevate satisfaction, an organization must enhance the timeliness of the delivery through innovating their website and provide real-time order tracking. And lastly, to maintain the loyalty, a company must give great attention on word-of-mouth effect. This may be through developing survey, collecting their feedbacks, and offer coupons or vouchers and freebies in return. So to conclude our study, Majority of the respondents are more than five members in their family and they order food delivery one to three times a month and they are spending less than 500 pesos per week and they are ordering mostly on quick service restaurant and they crave for a specific food with regards of ordering food online. As the customer's motivation factor, the respondents prefer a variety of choices of food when selecting which online food delivery uh, to use. And for expectation factor, the respondents look for only for delivery sites or pages that is user-friendly, offers a high quality service and ensures security. For customer satisfaction, the respondents are satisfied with their current only for delivery that gives significance to the quality of food during the delivery process. And lastly, the respondents will continue to buy for from their current only for deliverer with regards to their loyalty. It was also found out that those who have family members of four have greater assessment on the customer's motivation, expectation, and loyalty. It was concluded that, were, that there was a significant relationship existed on all variables, implying that the more customers were motivated, the higher the expectation and the more they were satisfied and loyal. An action plan is proposed for the improvement of all info delivery service in Batanga City. So based on the findings and conclusions presented, this is our recommendation. First, for online food delivery, they may give food vouchers for every answered survey forms. In this case, customers will participate more in giving their feedbacks. Second, for online food business, they may provide a suggestion box feature to their website or page to easily know the concerns of the customers. Third, for online food delivery customers, they may give feedbacks about the way food is being delivered in an inappropriate time and demand for a voucher or compensation. Fourth, for online delivery sites, they may provide a suggestion box feature to their website or page to easily know the concerns of the customers. And lastly, for future researchers, they may conduct a similar study but with the use of other variables like considering the four pieces of marketing such as the product, price, place, and promotion. Once again, this is our research entitled Factor Analysis on Online Food Delivery in the New Normal. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for a very good presentation. Uh, may I ask other participants uh, who may have the question regarding to do this topic? Um, I have I have a question for uh, Alexis and Jen. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. Good, yes, good afternoon. afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. Um, your study is about uh, food uh, food delivery, right? Yes. So it's yes, more yes. of the handling of food from the restaurant to the customer. Is yes, that sir. right? Yes. Okay. yes. Um, but, on, but here in the Philippines, as we, as we know, the, sometimes the, uh, the, the, the one who delivers the food is a third party logistics. Yes, okay. that's right. 
Is that part of your study as well? Um, if they have their own or if they would outsource mm -hmm. the uh, delivery of food? Um, um, good afternoon, Denise. Actually, in this study, we focus not on the third party, but on the um, online food delivery services of the um, restaurant ex itself. It's not the third party. Yes. But, but usually, um, it's a third party. No, not, not, uh, they do not have their own. But uh, anyway, um, going to your, but I, it, I think it's a good um, suggestion to include that because um, services may differ if, if it's an outsource or if it's coming from them. Okay. Now, for your recommendation, um, it seems like the recommendations are not new. I mean, giving voucher and all of those things that you have mentioned, those are already existing um, strategies being done you now by restaurant owners. Um, what else can you add aside from those that you have already mentioned? Um, uh, based on our observation on the sites, uh, for example, um, Jollibee, KFC, um, they, actually, um, they are actually having a hard time of um, getting feedbacks from the customers. That is why we, um, we are recommending for them to, um, to give vouchers if ever they will answer the survey because most of the vouchers are given to the third party services such as Food Panda, Grab Food, but most of the um, first party restaurants just as um, their own food delivery services, um, they are lacking for vouchers or things that will encourage um, customers to give their feedback. Okay, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. Thank you, Professor uh, Elini Da also for really nice question. Uh, question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other question? Okay, like so. Let me just wrap up just a uh, bit, right? About uh, the paper, right? Talking uh, this topic, talking about the uh, factor analysis on online food delivery, like in the new normal. And we know that uh, after we have the COVID nineteen pandemic, I mean our life changed a lot, right? To be just like we call the new normal. Okay, and there are some 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 yeah many businesses are negatively affected by this, but there are some also uh, good opportunity for many businesses also, right? And one of that is uh, just like the, the food delivery that uh, it become like the demand for our live food delivery become served like during this period, right? And this paper should be useful to help us understand insights about what customer really think or need, right? Uh, or they expect from the online food delivery, right? So those who are the entrepreneur like in this business, like so should be able to uh, adapt this finding and then can they can formulate the strategy that they can satisfy the customer. Okay. Thank you. A uh, really good and interesting. Thank you topic. very much.